Hey guys, and welcome to a special edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. You know me, I'm your host, Jordan Preston. And when we come back, we're going to look at a special surprise gift that came into the Bat Cave today, fresh off the mint. One six scale Batmobile from the 1966 classic TV series created by our good friends over at Jazz Inc. This thing promises to be all kinds of awesome. Let's check it out. So before we get started, I just want to show you just the size of the shipper box with this Batmobile. It's immense. This Batmobile is going to be huge when we get it out the box. Look at this thing. I'm six feet tall, but I just wanted to show you the difference. This thing is incredible. All right, let's crack it open and see what we got inside of here. All right, we got the baby out of the box. This is a big box. This is my hand here. Look how big this box is. It's amazing. Well, let's take a look at what we got in this box. First off, we got a beautiful depiction of the Batmobile that Jazz Inc. has made and created. It looks fantastic. We got the Bat logo, which they use for all the 1966 licensing. They were able to get that. Juice just did a beautiful box on this. That Jazz Inc. did a beautiful box design on this. Here's the logo that that classic logo that they put on all the 1966 merchandise that appears that, offic that is officially licensed. So this tells you right here, these two things right here, if nothing else, and that DC will tell you that these are officials, officially licensed materials. Juice in them had to get licensed by Warner Brothers and uh, 20th Century Fox and all those people like that to get this thing done. And that was fantastic. Thank you, Juice, for doing that. That is fantastic. They went the extra mile and Warner Brothers did too for releasing that license. Something we thought we'd never see in our lifetimes. But listen, Jazz Inc. Dioramas, powered by collectors. They got their logo and insignia on here in this big box. Great sign. We got a pole there, DC. We turn around to the side. We have a shot of a 1966 Batmobile. There we go. One six scale. Limited edition. This is very nice. Jazz Inc. in a nice cityscape silhouette. Turn it around. On this side, they got some good stuff. On this side, they have... Uh, features, what it features. Fully pointed and assembled 1-6 scale 1966 vehicle. Fully detailed cockpit with that will fit 1-6 scale Hot Toys figures. Nice. Chrome parts, opening doors, rubber tires, posable front wheels. Nice. An officially licensed Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series in 1-6 scale. All that good stuff. And I'll keep it here for a minute. You guys freeze this if you want to read all this other indicia that's here. That's fantastic. DC licensing Warner Brothers. All that good stuff. On the other side, we turn and there is another Batman classic signal. This is great. On the side of the box, we have a nice side shot of the Batmobile from Juice. And there we go. Jazz Inks did a great job on a fully big size Batman logo right there. On the other side of the box, we have some nice shots of the Batmobile. Some interior shots, light up shots of how the lights look on this Batmobile lit up. Nice silhouette of the Gotham. I'll keep this here and you guys can freeze that and get a nice look at that. That flame effect. That, that they had, that they included with the DX model. Nice stuff. All right, guys. Time to crack this puppy open and see what we got going on inside. I'm so glad you guys joined me for this unboxing of this Jazz Inc's 1966 official Batmobile. This is so cool. But for some of you guys who are just tuning in and don't know too much about it, I'm a 1966 Batman warhorse. I love that stuff. I grew up on it. And it was some things, I'll tell you a little history real quickly. During the Batmo Batman TV series of 1966, there were releasings of some Batman stuff, merchandise. There was the Corgi Batmobile, the water guns, all type of little slide projectors for Viewmaster. There, were, there was a bunch of 1966 Batman stuff that came out during the actual time that show was on the air, the 66 to maybe about 1970. Then all of a sudden, to us, inexplicably, they stopped. There was no 1966 stuff from, say, 1972 on to 2000s, or the early 2000s. And for us collectors, uh, people that love that show, we figured, oh, well, 
we were heartbroken. We got on with our lives, moved on. We collect other Batman stuff from the movies and other things. And we just figured it would never happen. Through those years, we learned that uh, 20th Century Fox, who had the licensing, along with Barris Corporation and Warner Brothers, they all had crazy ideas about licensing and stuff. So the licensing was always in limbo. So it never got a chance to get any merchandise. So you never saw any Adam West figures, 66 Batman, Robin, Penguins, any of the villains figures, or any Batmobile stuff for many years. And whenever somebody did anything from a 19th 1960s version. It was always the comic book version of Batman and Robins in the late 60s or the Batmobile from the mid 60s or Super Friends. It was never the this Batmobile because the licensing, they couldn't do it or they'd get sued or in trouble. Then all of a sudden in, in uh, 19, let's say uh, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, Warner Brothers had came to a deal with 20th Century Fox. So they were able to lease the DVD of the whole Batman series, which we had been waiting for for years, wondering what happened with that. They reached the DVD series, and they gave up the licensing for merchandising. So that's why in early 2011, 12, you saw all these uh, uh, influx of 1966 merchandising of Batmobiles. Mattel came out with the, the 112 scale Batmobile, and you saw the figures, and everybody else had Bat Batman banks, Batmobile banks. You saw Batmobile pictures, posters, because the licensing had released. Then in 2012, 2013, Hot Toys, our Hot Toys, who makes great 1 6 scale figures, they did a Batman and Robin from the 1960s series, and man, it was awesome. Us war, war horses who love the 66 collection, and a lot of people who love Batman went crazy about it, and we bought it. It eventually sold out. But the key thing is, during the 2012 Comic-Con, uh, Hot Toys showed the Batman and Robin figure with a 1-6 scale Batmobile, and the collecting community went nuts, and we loved that. But Hot Toys, as we learned, figured that it was too expensive to make that that uh, that Batmobile. So all of us that bought that Batman and Robin with anticipation of putting him in that Batmobile, we were heartbroken because we figured, oh, well, it's a done deal. And caveat, Hot Toys didn't tell us about their decision not to make it till about two years later after we were all hyped up on it coming at some point. So they couldn't make it. They figured it was too much and they wouldn't make enough profit for what it took to make that Batmobile. About seven years later, along came a company called Jazz Inc. Now, Jazz Inc., this company, Jazz Inc., was usually made known famous for making uh, collector fan favorite things like the cockpits of uh, Star Wars for Star Wars 1-6 scale figures. All kind of Star Wars wall units and stuff that would look like the actual movie from Star Wars, the trilogy. And the collectors knew that. But only collectors kind of knew about Jazz Inc. at the time. Then Jazz Inc., made a the Justice League uh, and Batman v Superman Batmobile. Huge for 1-6 scale figs. It was huge. And when they released that, they had a little teaser that they were going to release this 1966 Batmobile. It was only a thought and a concept at the time. And they went along and did it. As they were doing it, Warner Brothers got wind of it and said, wait a minute, you guys can't do this. It looks too good. We want in on this. So Jazz Inc. had to stop what they were doing and now collaborate with Warner Brothers, which took about another six, seven months of time from them producing this thing because they never had to do it before. But now Warner Brothers got involved and they had licensing and all that stuff. And Warner Brothers checkpointed them along the way to make sure it was accurate. The same thing they did, they went back and did with the uh, Justice League Batman v Superman Batmobile. So that took a long time. So this thing came out in an advertisement about 2018, 2019. And it took this long and then COVID hit. So it took that long. But to make a long story even longer, <laughs> us 1966 Batman collectors never thought we'd ever see a day where there'd be any, any Batmobiles made after the 1960s, 70s. And here we are now with so much Batmobile material and man, a one six scale Batmobile. So thank you guys for joining me for this thing. We'll open it up, we'll get it cracking, and let's enjoy it. And here we see the Batmobile out the box, fully cradled and protected. They did a great job packing this thing. Special, you can tell it's especially designed for this Batmobile. This isn't your generic packing stuff. 
Ah, oh, this looks great. Nice. Let's take the tissue paper off gently. We got a little bit of uh, of the foam from the packing on the Batmobile. That's one thing Juiced of Daz, Juiced, the owner of Jazz Inc's uh, dioramas, said. Uh, this Batmobile, because of the high coating of the paint, the sheen is going to always be subject to fingerprints and smudges and debris, debris showing up on it because it's so highly glossed. But that's all right. I'll take that. So look at that inside. Awesome. That's first look out of the box. Let's take it out. And here it is, boys and girls, the 1966 Batmobile out of the box and looking all kinds of awesome. This is great. Let's take a quick spin around, see what it looks like. Beautiful detail on this thing. And you might see little flecks of the box foam because I just took it out the box and I haven't brushed it down clearly yet. So forgive that. But this thing looks great. One of the things I'll tell you right off of the bat is that Juiced and Company, and by the way, I call I say Juiced because Juiced, J O O S T, is the owner, creator, and uh, the concept maker of the Batmobile and of Jazz Inc. Dioramas. So he's the face of Jazz Inc. Dioramas. And check out their YouTube channel and all that. Join them on Facebook, Jazz Inc. Dioramas. And Juiced, J O O S T, is the owner and creator and the head of Jazz Inc. Dioramas. So I refer to his name when I say Juiced. One thing Juiced and uh, Jazz Inc. said in one of their videos that they found out during the, the creating of this because of the high gloss, they used lots and lots of coats of paint on this thing, glossed it over. The high gloss of this Batmobile, you pick up a lot of anything, fingerprints, lint, dust. It is very, very much a dust and fingerprint magnet. So what they did, one of the things they included is a nice little cloth to wipe it down, which you will need, especially if you do not display this in a glass case or some type of a display case. If you just have it out, you will be dusting this thing down a lot and often. But it looks beautiful. I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. Look as we turn this thing around. Beautiful. Another thing I wanted to mention about this Batmobile is that uh, they also said, you'll see in some seasons of the Batmobile, the pure diehard 66 Batmobile fans will say, hey, it didn't look like this in season two episode. That didn't look like that in season one. Well, what Jazz Inc. did is they made this a high concept of the best parts of all the seasons of the Batmobile. So in some parts of 1966 seasons, as you go by, you'll see the Batmobile looking uh, uh, matted colored, not as shiny. You'll see it sometimes looking as a little ragged or this was here this thing wasn't placed here in that particular season or episode and what they did they said this is an idealized concept of the best of all the episodes and seasons of that 1966 show so yeah there might be some episodes that look a little different the batmobile looks a little different or season looks a little different but this is a high concept of the best of that batmobile this body is high plastic uh, it looks like it might be metal, but it's not. There are metal uh, parts, components to this, but for the most part, the body is plastic. Very hard plastic, though. Don't, don't be kidding. It is high plastic, hard plastic, quality plastic, and it is great. And uh, it looks really good. Rubber tires. If you even get a look at the tires, they have the little spokes from the inner tube of the tires in the wheelbase. That is really great right there on all the tires they have that. The tires roll, by the way, they roll fully roll. This tire is in conjunction with the steering wheel, so it moves right and left, the whole set of the front tires. Everything is magnetized. This, this comes in the box, you have to put it on, but it fits right into the slot nice and snugly. Uh, the back computer, as you can see, is right there. It closes and opens just like this, nice and snug. Two-hand job, very nice. 
These spokes, oddly enough, were in the box, weren't in the box. They were actually attached to the Batmobile when it came. They had a nice uh, thing of foam around it, so it was protected, but it's kind of interesting that it wasn't. These spokes are also not metal. They are plastic. They're hard plastic. And because uh, Jazz Inc. is a smaller company, not big like Mattel or Hasbro or something, or mass produced, these are handmade elements with a small crew of people painting and putting these things together. So some of these, a lot of these things are plugged in and glued. So if you mess around with them too hard or too forcefully they might break off and these feel like these would break out or pull out if you've messed around with them too long but they're hollow plastic tubing but solid plastic though very nice the doors open with a magnetic pull they give you an instruction sheet to tell you how to open the door you press it in the front and pull out the back and then they open inside you see great stuff these seats are tough leather the actually leather that that jazzing put on these seats they're very great carpeted floors Steering wheel moves, very great. Uh, all the bat indicia on side, inside the console, the Batmobile is great. They got everything bat this, bat that. Those lights on the top of the console work when the lights go on. They have the fire extinguisher in there, everything. Very nice. The antenna lights will go on as well as that. We'll see later on. And just press it from the back right in and it locks right in. Secure. This is a great looking thing, but see immediately the fingerprints show up on the Batmobile, so you gotta be careful with that. The Bat Scanner also came out. Uh, Jazz Inc. great, generously gave you two Bat Scanners. I took one and put it in and just pull out like that. They go right back into the slot like that. And they move, you can put them any way you want, but they don't move, rotate with some remote or anything like that. They just sit just nice like that. The hood of the Batmobile does not open, it is closed. Only the Bat trunk opens. Both doors open. I'll show you that. Both doors will open to fit your hot toys, Batman and Robin inside, which we'll show you a little later. We'll throw it around. Rubber tires, by the way, rubber tires. Nice, firm rubber tires. On Robin's side, you see the same thing, tough leather on the seat, and you see uh, carpet inside, all the stuff inside on Robin's side, very nice little walkway right there, fantastic. Once again, just close those doors, lift them and close them, and it closes nice and easy peasy. As we turn it around, they have real fabric parachutes, that's fantastic. Real fabric parachutes. Uh, now, these parachutes are, don't, they look like it, but they do not come apart. So do not take them apart when you get yours. The parachutes do not come apart. They're just mounted inside, on, inside you can feel it's just foam, a big bulge of foam on both of these. And then they put this nice little outing on it. So if you took this apart, it would, you'd be very disappointed. It does not unfold into parachutes, so don't try it. Nice look, look at that high gloss on that thing. Very beautiful. Close the door, nice and easy peasy. Now, J J they Jazzing sent us some accessories. First off, we have this, which is the, uh, there we go, the exhaust, that famed flame exhaust of the Batmobile. This lights up too when you put the lights on, out, magnetically done. So it goes right in like that, sticks in easy, adjustable, and there you go, just like that. They also gave us the Bataram. Remember, on some episodes of the Batmobile TV show, they had a Bataram that would come down like that. Now, this doesn't move at all. It's just made to look cool. And it goes into a slot up front. If I can get it into that slot, it goes into a slot right up in here. There we go. Like that. And it hangs out like that. It's pretty awesome. Once again, it does not move up or down in the in the series. It came out of here and it slid down like that. It came out from under here. Sorry, it came out from under here and it slid up like that. But it doesn't do any of that. It just stays looking cool. That's an option for you to have. Sticks right in, plugs in, with the magnet, and with that peg. Nice, 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 nice. They also gave us decals. Now we have some decals for the back computer. The back computer already comes already fully uh, done. You have to do nothing to it. These light up, by the way, we'll see in a little while. But just in case you tear them up or you rip them or there's some mess up, you wanna change it, 
the bat, you can peel these off, they're peel and stick, bat mobile crime. We got one of those too, bat mobile crime. We got two of those computer, same things, you just stick them on. Comes with three different license plates. Comes automatically, let me take this off. Comes automatically with a license plate on it, which it says this one, TP6597. But I'm gonna put the bat one on mine when I get the chance. Also, it comes with all the signals that you would want to put in the console, but they come mostly with them on already. I think this bat signal one goes into the steering wheel console I'll put in there uh, later on. But these are nice little touch that they did that. Also included are some metallic pieces that'll go in and they're magnetized and they'll sit right into where you want to put them on in the back computer. I assume that's where these go. You get an instruction sheet that tells you how to open the doors correctly. You're going to press front and pull in the back, and you just slide it back, pushing it in the back. And it tells you how to put the lights on with a little remote control, which will show in a little bit. And speaking of the remote, here's the remote. Nice, cool deal. Look at that. Even has a little keychain holder on it. Jazz ink left no stone unturned. And you pull it down, you slide it up, cover it like that, pull it down, it's ready to go. With the batteries already included, may I add? Nice touch. So this is the Batmobile. How do you guys like? I'm going to remove this for a second, the turntable. I'll show you two things. We'll put this down. Two things, I'll show you it roll. So it does roll makes no noise it's heavy vehicle so you hear that squeaking of the tires but it makes no noise no batmobile sounds or anything like that it's not a hasbro toy guys but it does that and then i'll show you the back the bottom the underneath of the car nice they did some nice stuff they got nice it's a turbine engine right there which is really great nice little paint jobs there none of this stuff moves or rotates or lights up down underneath here or moving parts under here. It's just nice to look like that and it looks kind of cool. Over here is the plug-in for the light console. You put that in and then you plug it into the wall. That allows you to have your lights. Very nice stuff. Very nice stuff. So there you go. Now let's check it out with the lights. Oh, and by the way, we will show you with Batman and Robin. Thanks. Okay, we are back with the light section of the show. The guys at Jazzings give you this neat, cool adapter. Sits right in. They give you about three different additional plug-in options. So that no matter where you are in the world or what thing you play on, you should be able to plug in this adapter to light up your Batmobile. We chose the regular AC-DC adapter for this thing. So we, here's what we do. We plug it in. Then underneath the Batmobile is a little cord, extension cord, and you put it right into there, like so. Hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to do it with two hands. You put it right in here like so. There we go. And that will sit in. And then according to directions, you get a neat little retro style remote control here with the batteries already included, which is awesome. And it tells you how to operate it. So A operates the cockpit. There's the cockpit. I love it. The interior lights go on. That's the interior lights. And then B should light up the front lights. Let's check that out. Spin it around. Oh, spin it around and B should light up the front lights. Yes. Hope you can see that. I'm gonna dim the lights so you can see that real quick. See those lights? Awesome. Very nice. Then if we hit D, the bat lights should come on. And 
and we put in our exhaust right there. And that's beautiful. Do you see that? There's the exhaust right there lighting up. Love it. And as we turn it around, we hit C. Hold on, I'm learning it. We hit C. C turns the bat lights on in the back. Can you see that right there? There they go, the Batmobile lights. Nice. If you hit D and C together, you get the exhaust going on while the Batmobile lights are on. That is amazing. That is amazing. And then all the lights come on, as you can see. That's our top lights and our bottom lights. I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see it. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We'll spin that around one more time. So you can get a good view of it. Beautiful. That is really something. I am loving this Batmobile. And you turn them off by just clicking the same number again twice. And that will click them off. Very nice. Now, let's check out our figures. All right, and as promised, here it is. Our Hot Toys 1 6 scale Batman and Robin from 1966 TV series. Up, up and close personal with our Jazz Inc. 1 6 scale 1966 Batmobile. Very nice. Look how those guys pair up just fantastically well. Look at that. Wow. That is fantastic. Let's take another view of that. There we go, boys and girls. This is the money shot right here. Batman and Robin, the Cape Crusaders, hot toys in their 1966 Batmobile, the way it was meant to be. Lights flashing, Gotham on notice. There it is. Wow, look at that. Can you guys see that? Very nice with the lights going on. Very good. Robin on his side, everything looking great. Lights going on. This is what it's all about. This is worth the expense right here. This will live long and prosperous in my collection. Look at that. Very great. Now I gotta tell you, it took a while to futzing and messing around to get Batman to fit squarely inside the Batmobile. He wanted to pop out, but he once in, he fits great. Robin, he's shorter, no problem, he slides right in. But that's great. And be very careful putting him in because the steering wheel is very fragile. You don't want to snap that thing off. So that's very cool. And there it is. That's how they look. Very nice. Look at that. And this is probably how my Batmobile and Batman and Robin will live in my display on my shelf. The dynamic duo in their greatness in this great vehicle. I like this pose because of the fact it incorporates both things, the dynamic duo and the Batmobile. Robin standing up in the Batmobile as his youthful self would often do in the series and Batman touching the door and the door being opened up the Batmobile. So it combines all of them and they're in motion. So it looks like they're dynamic and opposed, not just sitting in the car. So that's how they'll live in my display most likely. 
Oh man, Juice and Jazz Inc. have hit it out the park. Two thumbs up to you guys. Is this a perfect vehicle? Well, I'll tell you what, some things on the bottom undercarriage of my car found some sloppy paint work underneath the door, but no one will see it and they probably figured that anyway after post-production. And they're right, no one will see it, so I can let that pass. Also, um, if you remember the Batman series of the 66 series, uh, it was always important that Robin wear his seat belts. They made a few clips of that in, during the course of the seasons. And there's no seat belts. Now, as you guys know, this is my first time looking at this Batmobile in my place and taking it out the box just for you guys. It's the first time unboxing. So I might play around with this after we finish and find some seat belts tucked underneath something to roll it. Who knows? But as of now, I don't see any seat belts in here. But that's good. Because remember, Jazz Inc. did state that this is a perfect conceptualization of the Batmobile through all the seasons. So maybe in their mind, they didn't like the seat belts too much or get in the way. So they didn't put them in. Other than that, this is fantastic. I love the high gloss. I love the sturdy plasticness. I love all the pieces and elements. The lights on it that come on are fantastic. That you can control all the lights at different points with the cool retro remote. That is fantastic. A plug-in feature so you never have to worry about clicking something underneath and turning something over to get to the button to click it on and turn it on and off. You just plug it in, leave it plugged in, and whenever you want to do it, grab your remote and press it. If remote batteries go out, replace the batteries, and you're back in business again. This is fantastic. And with the Hot Toys figures, it's awesome. So yeah, but I got to tell you, Getting this hot Batmobile right now, the basic Batmobile with no lights on it and no battering ram in the front component is sold out. So as of this taping, which is September 2022, there is no longer a, a basic Batmobile with no light features available from Jazz Inc. But they do have the DX still available, limited number still available with the lighting features and the battering ram that you can get. The out the door is going to cost you with shipping and everything, up toward $1,500, close to $1,500 for this Batmobile. Is it worth it? Hmm. Well, if you're an old jet war horse for the 1960 Batmobile TV show like I am, and I know a lot of you are, absolutely. If you have the coin, absolutely it's worth it. If you collect all things Batman, you should collect this because of the fact that after a year or so, this is going to be a grill piece. The one thing about Jazz Inc. is that once their product is sold out, they don't replenish it. So if when this is gone, it's gone. So it'll be a grill piece and you can be a part of history with that. This is fantastic. I am so over the moon with this and the opportunity we get to see a lot of Batman stuff. And the Hot Toys, Batman and Robin, which are not included, they are not included, you can find on the secondary market because they too are sold out in Hot Toys. So you might find them, but they'll run you about $300, $400 each. So if you got the coin, it's a great investment. Those of you who already have a Batman and Robin figure, get this Batmobile if you can. It's wonderful. Thank you guys for joining me on a special edition of Gifted Monkey TV. Tell me what you think down below. Do you want to get this? Do you think this looks cool? Do you like the way I put my diorama? What do you think? This is a basic thing. Are you going to get any of the Batmobiles from Jazz Inc. What do you think about Jazz Inc. doing Batmobiles and Hot Toys not doing the Batmobile like they said they were many years ago? I want to know. I want to hear from you. Thank you guys for joining me. Sorry I've been away for so long. It's been hard to remember my schedule, but thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And remember, playing with toys, even a 1-6 scale authentic 1966 Batmobile with a Batman and Robin can be as fun as a barrel of monkeys. But respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.